Hello, this is Hawker Devine, and today we are going to r slash trans2. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get right into this. And here's some gender euphoria for the guys. Just woke up, closet trans boy. Wow, I look like shit. Wait a minute, most boys my age look like shit. Yeah! <laughs> Happy triggering bigots because as they can't deny your existence month! Fuck yeah! Also, happy Pride Month to everyone else. I forgot to say that in my intro. Trans girls are so... Aw, thanks! Not here for hookups. I know about you... You two girls and I need someone to help me with Ableton slash give me crash, crash course with CDJS. I knew this was the best place to look. So you're not into hookups at all? Not into hookups, just into jungle. <laughs> Sorry to be hip, sir, but I had can and and then the Gwen as trans and named myself after her before it was cool. Nice. It's an oldie Pride Month. There's room for everyone under the rainbow. Happy Pride Month. This is private. At least cut the gay scene. We might lose precious pennies from Russia and China. Disney pu uh, publicly. Hong Kong, we put rainbow for um for stickers on Lightning McQueen today. Consume our products, teens. Literally. I watched Caroline recently and it got me thinking. Will you press the button? A strange witch promises to uh, completely trans your gender at, for no monetary cost. But with a few strings attached. Social anxiety and gender dysphoria. Your social anxiety score is at 28 out of 40. Experience symptoms is common by engaging in therapy. You, will you learn strategies to reduce symptoms and manage everyday stressors? So, do you ever experience gender dysphoria? Me, no. Also, me, gender dysphoria and the social anxiety. <laughs> That's not even a Venn diagram at that point. Yeah. The illusion of free choice. Do you want to go into... I think that's something labor? Or Britain? Either way, you'll be facing transphobia. I've been slaughtered, but I am back. Red makes you grow tits? Please don't understand what quote this is we, we worded from. Red makes you fat. This was a husband root was removed from being a personal attack, which is not for the conversation and brings harmful discourse into OD community. <laughs> mods, me. The mods when I quote a Scott Pilgrim a meme. Can't believe they did that. This scored or all very successfully to just think Iron Man when I came out. Red light and when I came out. Discord guessing my gender. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't that make Discord a gender recognition and system transphobic, or am I just dumb? Anyway, happy Pride Month to everyone! What would Florida Envy to you? Wrong answers only. You've had a Florida man. What about Florida Envy? I mean... There's a reason the governor of er, er, Florida's days are numbered. You know that they can and kill gods. Do you think a governor is any he threat for them? But for real, that's a horrible thing that's going on. <sighs> that's a girl who thinks Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is a trans allegory. I actually haven't watched it. 
it's kind of funny. When it first came out, I was a little bit upset because I was so obsessed with Tears of the Kingdom at the time that I didn't even and and um think about it. I posted it is on some digital circus subs and got transphobia. I'll post here instead. Trans audience interpretation. Several viewers have commented on how Pomni's reaction to her new environment, specifically the scene where she first sees herself in a full body mirror, could draw parallels with a transgender individual who feels trapped in her own skin and unempathetic social so society. Desperately searching for an escape and being forced to feign jealousy in her situation despite their internal dysphoria. Others have interpreted the mirror scene more positively as though she was taken and by her new appearance after transitioning into a new body. Goose works for herself, a trans woman hasn't said whether or not the allegory is intentional, though she has clarified that Omni's reaction to her new body is not meant to be positive. Yeah. This is a humorous image, and it's pretty funny and relatable. But, yep. Lots of trans users. And it's... In a meme subreddit, yep. And it clearly doesn't violate any rules. Makes sense to me. So why did you remove it? It isn't a meme. Except it is. That's the whole thing. It's a meme. Something in, in weird. Oh, another lattice one. Okay, today's the day. Time to make. Make my case. I can do this. I'm as prepared as I can be. I hope I have enough good answers for any questions they ask about why I want to change my name. J I just want to doesn't really seem all that official. But really, there's no reason for him to deny it. I filled out all the forms and followed all the steps. Unless they're bigoted and somehow think that I'm... Alright, next is a name change for... Michael, Michael McGregor. Oh boy, here we go. So everything looks in order here. Is there a particular reason you want to change your name? Uh, yes, I feel like this name is more fitting than the one originally given to me. Addition. Here we go. Your name change is approved. Take this and your form to the office downstairs. Okay, thank you. Well, that was easier than I feared. Hmm. Happy Pride to all my LGBTQ plus followers. It's June, which means it's illegal to be straight. Anyone caught not being gay will be immediately reported to the FBI. <laughs> Love when the pictures just break. Guess I get it to do a lot of self-reflection. Go on tea and find finally feeling confident as a trans man. Feeling uncomfortable with letting go of the person I was and fully embracing that I want to pass as a man. Going off tea during Pride Month. Wait, what? The sooner I saw an E, the better, y'all. New gender envy. Me watching the mummy for the first time. When you're texting a dude who oh, oh, into the convo initiating asking questions but takes like 7 seconds to respond to you each time you're like, what the fuck does that mean? What are these games? There's Celeste. She's texting in between in attempts of Celeste. <laughs> I actually haven't played Celeste. I need to do that. Pride Month, 2024. In this month, our life changed forever. Our realization. It was at the end of Pride Month 2023, but in years before, during the period of bleak and gray, Pride Month was something that always just passed us by. News of it and any celebration never passing the impenetrable bubble all we created around for ourselves. Uh-oh. There we go. Now, with it happening and we're now part of the community, we're scared. Scared to wave around the symbol of the thing that is 
so ingrained into our identity. It's not the performance again, this time it's the current time problems. Being so loud and visible can be an invitation for vitriol, like hate. Maybe we're paranoid. Maybe, like always, we're too scared to act. Scared of any and all confrontation at a time when we feel we should be raising the trans flag and shouting into the mountain. So we'll be here, and our art, standing for everyone who can't or isn't able to be at any of the Pride events. Happy Pride. Dear homophobes and transphobes, please enjoy a month of having everything in spike impotent rage. Actually, don't enjoy it. Suffer. You deserve it. Me trying to focus on exams. Dysphoria. Damn. They got a trans scarf. I'm so jealous. Right? Me? January? Right. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You were heard of the pipeline that starts with Naruto and goes to Steins Gate. Then Rascal does not dream of bunny girls. Then dress up up darling. And isn't that blooming to you? Hang on, I need to zoom in. I need to fucking zoom in here. Who is that? What is that anime? What is this anime? I need to see it. I'm not sure what anime this is, but... So me! The Pipeline. I know that I started off with some really cookie-cutter or basic-ass anime like Naruto and Bleach and stuff. Then I went to Science Gate. And I ran into some um, anime that came out in 19 and, and stuff. And then I eventually found Sakura Trick and it was over. I knew something was wrong once I watched that anime and I was like, I, I want that. I want to be like that. I want to be a girl kissing another girl. Anyway, I think this is going to be the last thing that we read. Since March 23rd, 2023, I now identify myself as a gender fluid. It's an important step. Probably will change my whole life. I made it by me and only for me. Well. Which is to set myself free. Girl me, boy me, your turn! Hmm. It's freeing. After 18 years, I allowed my other self to be themselves. In the past few years, I'm worried that I might get stuck in my assigned gender at birth forever. So, I let myself... Wait a sec. How do you actually come out? Like, how, actually? With an explosion! I... I Oh no, I just kind of did it. Oh. Okay, we're gonna do this one because it looks interesting. We've been at this for 15 minutes now. 
<sighs> Untitled Trans Comic. Be proud of who you are. I've been in this community for over four years now. I questioned my sexuality for the first time in sec April 2020. And my gender came into uncertainty less than a year later or in January 2021. Around that time, I started engaging with online queer communities, and through them, I learned more about, well, everything. Since then, I've had many major life developments. I've gone to a point in my life that I would never have expected of myself back when my career journey started. And I couldn't have gone here without the help of, of online and queer communities. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for everything. Happy Pride Month. I know that times are hard right now. There may be a lot of forces in the world that want us gone, but that'll never happen. Queer people are here, and we're here to stay. It may be hard, hard to find a reason to keep going, but if you're reading this, you aren't alone in this world. You are not completely helpless, and you do impact the world, even if it's only in minor ways. It's never too late to be your true self. We love you. All right. Happy Pride Month, everyone. This was r slash trans 2. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye!